who dies and who decides. The country's highest court today decided that Aruna Shanbagh must live. Yes, a decision for a woman who has lived in a semi-comatose state for 37 years. As the decision was made, nurses at Mumbai's King Edwards Memorial Hospital broke into cheers. No, they are not Aruna's family. They are not in the limelight for serving her selflessly for decades. But for Aruna, they are her only family. Like a, our small girl, or now I, I say to her age, she become old. Otherwise, she's the same. She was cheated out of life and now saved from death. For 37 years, Aruna has lived in this bed, rendered comatose after a gruesome attack. Jyoti Patil, Kalpana Gajola, Lakbir Gaur. They have no blood ties to Aruna, but have served her selflessly, treated her like a friend. We are taking her care, whatever demand are we are giving, fulfilling our demand. The nurses are the person who will be there for 24 hours. No other person like a nurse be in the ward for 24 hours. The Supreme Court has denied the appeal to end Aruna's life holding up the right of Aruna Shanbag to live her life despite her plight. Happy with the verdict. For Aruna, her condition is such that I, without any hypocrisy, I would say that God should relieve her first. She should leave this body early, but in a natural way. We shouldn't kill her. We shouldn't kill her. We shouldn't kill her. A woman strangled with a bicycle chain, sodomized, rendered helpless. But the strength of complete strangers giving her life a new meaning. Euro Report, Times Now.